All right, I'm here in the suit tent. I've been fooling around with the variator, trying to get it adjusted a little bit more. Now, as you can see, I've got it in fourth gear. Actually, it's in reverse. Now it's in fourth. My foot is not on the clutch, and I just shifted it while the engine's running. It's because I have the variator adjusted wrong. Now, what's happening is the variator is acting like a hand clutch right now. See? And to adjust that, I need my handy dandy socket. And I need to adjust it with this nut right there. I want to take it out of gear. The object is to get it to its minimum speed without stopping. That means these last couple notches might not even do anything when I'm all done. Then I'll show you guys how it all works. I think I got the adjustment okay now. Okay, the concept behind how this thing works is this center sheave here actually can move side to side, as you can see. Yeah, like that. Yep. Now what this does is it changes the belt ratio between the engine and the transaxle, giving it infinite speed ratio between its minimum speed, zero, and its maximum speed, which is about seven. And uh, it's a pretty simple design, actually, and really effective. So I'm going to demonstrate it. If my battery holds up, and you can actually see it. I think I got the adjustment okay now. Okay, the concept behind how this thing works is this center sheave here actually can move side to side, as you can see. Yeah, like that, yep. Now what this does is it changes the belt ratio between the engine and the transaxle, giving it infinite speed ratio between its minimum speed, zero, and its maximum speed, which is about seven. And uh, it's a pretty simple design, actually, and really effective. So I'm going to demonstrate it. If my battery holds up, and you can actually see it. Here's the variator on the 210. I'm trying to park and grip, just in case. There's maximum speed, minimum speed. is how a variator works. And you'll actually be able to see the belt going to the back end right there spinning. You can actually see it slow down and speed up. And holy crap, the bolt fell out of the front end, I just noticed. It just holds on a crowd, not a major. Ah. Yeah, you really got to replace these Dang clip do jigger here that hold the front shrouds on. <laughs> eh, they keep stripping out on me. Eh, I don't know where that one went. <laughs> I just noticed it was falling out because my shroud was hanging loose. This happens all the time because all these little do jiggers are stripped out. So I gotta get around to replacing them or get a different style screw. That's probably what I gotta do. I gotta get a screw with that style thread. They work good.